Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to focus on different types of volcanic cones that you can get. Um, there's four main types that we're going to look at and you need to know these for your Leaving Certificate uh, Geography exam. So the very first thing is um, what are the different types of volcanic cones that you can get. Okay, So you can get four different types of volcanic cones. So I'll say four types of volcanic cones and the first one is a shield volcano so a shield volcano the second one is a composite volcano The third type of volcanic cone that you can get is a dome volcanoes. And the fourth one that you can get is ash and cinder. Ash and cinder volcanoes. Okay, so these are the four different ones that you need, uh, volcanic cones you need to know for your leaving cert geography exam, and we're gonna look at the differences between each of these now. So here we have it. Uh, the first one is a shield volcano, and shield volcanoes look like uh, like the picture down below. There's a few different features that you need to know um, about this type of volcano. The first thing is that it's uh, lava. It's very basic and runny lava, and the reason why it's a uh, basic and runny lava, it's not very thick, is because it's got it's low in silica content. Okay, so that's really important to know about shield volcanoes. They've got low silica content, so the lava is very basic and runny. The slopes are very gentle, and it's got a very wide base uh, cone. Okay, so the 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 width of it is very wide, but the slopes are very gentle. And an example of this would be Mauna Loa in Hawaii. Okay, so I've wrote down a few uh, notes there if you'd like to take them down, so you can pause the video and take those down. The next one we're going to look at is the composite uh, cone, uh, so the composite volcanoes. And there's a few different features for composite volcanoes. The first one is that they've got like um, alternating, alternative layers of ash and, and cinder and, and lava layers. Okay, so you can see here this would be like the cinder and ash layer, then you've got the lava layer, then you've got the ash and cinder, then you've got the lava. Ash and cinder, lava, ash and cinder, lava, ash and cinder, okay? Um, the slopes are completely different to the shield volcanoes because they're very, very sl uh, steep, very uh, steep slopes, particularly close to the crater. Um, one thing to note is at the, the, the base of the, of the composite volcano, the, the slopes are, aren't, as, they aren't as steep, they're a lot more gentle, and that is a feature of it. And an example of this would be uh, Mount Etna in Sicily in Italy. Okay, so I've just wrote down a few different points uh, and key features of a composite volcanoes. If you'd like to take them down now, just pause it. The third one we're going to look at now uh, are dome volcanoes. And dome volcanoes uh, have a very narrow base, so their base is very narrow. But they have really, really steep slopes. Okay, so that is one of the key features of it, dome volcanoes. They've got a narrow base, but a very, very steep uh, slopes. The eruptions that they have are very violent uh, eruptions when when the volcano uh, do erupt, and they're composed of thick acidic lava, and the lava is is high in silica content, so it's very, very thick uh, lava. And an example of this would be Mount Saint Helens in the USA. Okay, so there we have the few different uh, key features of the dome-shaped volcanoes. If you just like to pause the video now, you can take them down. So the last one, the fourth uh, type of volcanic cone you need to know is an ash and cinder uh, volcanoes. And just gonna, here's an example of an ash and cinder volcano. So first thing you need to know is that um, if you have an ash and cinder uh, volcano, it, they're usually very violent uh, and the eruptions are very explosive. The slopes of the volcanoes are very, very steep. It's composed of different layers of ash, cinder, um, and volcanic bombs. 
And an example of this would be uh, Paracutin in, in Mexico. So I've just uh, wrote down a few uh, key points for ash and cinder volcanoes that you can take them down now. So if you'd like to take them down, just pause the video. Okay guys, that's it for today's tutorial, um, where we looked at the four different types of volcanic cones that you need to know for your leaving certificate uh, geography exam. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, can you please leave me some maybe feedback? You can do this through, through the through the website when you go onto the contact us page because I love getting feedback. Or you can you can write to us on our Facebook page, Twitter page, or Instagram at Examination for you. Thanks, guys.